let's look at the new extended property patterns in C Sharp 10. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. I already have some code set up. This is a console app in .NET 6, and I have created a couple of classes right here in program.cs, again, just for the demo purposes. But when you are doing a pattern match for a, an if statement, so let's say person model P equals uh, new, and that's gonna accept all the defaults. Notice first and last name, Tim Corey, the defaults, and then down here, city and state, Dallas, Texas, and we're gonna create that address model right here. So that's already populated in this P by default. And if I said, if P is, I could say first name colon Tim, and then, oops, and then from there I could say console right line, uh, hello, Tim. I mean, you know, this, this is a nonsensical example, but that would be how we would do a pattern match for this object. But if we wanted to do pattern matching on the sub objects, that's where things got a little weird in C Sharp 9. We'd have to do something like this, where we said home address, and then did curly braces again, and then inside those curly braces say, okay, city is TX. I'm sorry, is Dallas. Okay, and that's clunky. So now the new pattern matching in C Sharp 10 allows us to do this, home address dot city. That's the difference. Cuts out that extra work and um, now this will properly execute and look at this P object and check out the first name property and the city property in the home address property. So it can do nested. All right. So that's the big deal here is that we can nest these things instead of having to use the curly braces on our, our complex objects and kind of dive in. This is really helpful when you have objects inside objects inside objects, because then you don't have to have all these curly braces. You can just say, you know, home address dot city, and then even further if you wanted to. That's it. That's how you use the uh, extended pattern matching in C Sharp 10. So let me know what your thoughts are. Is that something you'll be using or not? Let me know down the, down the comments. I wanna know, you know what your thoughts are on this new feature in C Sharp 10, okay? Also, if you want the source code for today's video, what source code there is, then use the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, I am Tim Corey.